Hello Taurus. Welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on for you in love at this time. And then we're going to look at how you feel about each other, your energies between you, and then what can you expect in the near future. As always, these readings are meant to be general. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. So let's jump right in. For Taurus, Spirit of Angels, guys. Messages, guidance, please. For Taurus, regarding love. What do we need to know? What do we need to know for Taurus regarding love? What can Taurus expect in the near future, Spirit? What can Taurus expect in the near future here regarding love? Regarding love. Okay, so what's going on for you in love? What can you expect? We have the Hermit, Virgo Energy. The Hero, which is a Fool. And the Seven of Pentacles. Interesting. Taurus, I feel like there's a new beginning in store here when it comes to love. A risk, a new cycle, uh, a leap of faith that you might be taking or that someone's taking with you. How do you feel about this person? Page of Wands, yeah, I feel like you're into this. You want to maybe take initiative, jump in, Temperance, Sagittarius energy. I think you're interested, but maybe you want to take your time to figure out how you feel about this person or what you want with this person. You could be dealing with a Virgo, a Sagittarius, does not have to be, but that's just what happens. The signs that happen to have come out so far. What about them? Okay, so they have the Ten of Swords and the Seven of Wands. So... I feel like on their side here, there is some sort of difficulty, um, some sort of challenge that they have to face. Um, an ending that maybe they're going through or that they've gone through with you. This could have been in the past, like the distant past or the recent past, or maybe they're dealing with a difficult situation on their own. We'll see when we clarify. Let's get some more insight. Spirit, can you tell me more for Taurus? What can you tell me for Taurus? What guidance, what messages do you have regarding the energies for Taurus in love? Budding romance. Oh yeah, there's definitely a new cycle in love, a new beginning in love, a new love interest something new and then there's inner voice which is kind of like the hermit or the high priestess let your intuition guide you towards the right path and true love are you kidding me i mean look at this energy taurus it's almost like your heart is telling you or your your inner voice is telling you that this is a special connection that there's something new happening here that is different um, maybe you're meeting a soulmate or maybe you're meeting the person that you can see yourself with for a long time maybe you're reconnecting with someone that you had a very strong connection with but i mean true love and budding romance excellent energies i mean those are the energies you want to have in a love reading but i feel like some like maybe you feel or are listening to your heart or to your intuition about this maybe you need to kind of explore this idea of this new beginning in love right like maybe there's something that you need to decide regarding this connection or maybe you're just a bit concerned because i have the seven of pentacles here and the hermit so i feel like you're trying to find an answer or figure out if something will be successful in the future if your efforts will be worth it if your efforts will be reciprocated all of that let me get one more energy can i get one more energy for the energies here for taurus spirit for taurus ah that's way too many in love can we get one please for taurus in love what does taurus need to know spirit express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture i really do feel like you're you've met someone recently or you're going to meet someone recently or there's someone that you need to express these feelings to that you already have 
or maybe they have to express these feelings to you, Taurus. Okay, so let's start clarifying here. Let's get a little bit more insight into what this new beginning is, what this situation is, what's going on here between you. Can we get some insight, please? For Taurus. What do we need to know? I don't need to know spirit. Tell me about the hermit. The hermit withdraws to figure things out, listen to their intuition. Um, I don't know why I say intuition like that. Um, and plan ahead for the future. Tell me about the hermit. Why is the hermit here? Queen of Cups. Yeah, someone's listening to their heart. That's what I'm getting here. Someone's... Um, analyzing or thinking about their emotions maybe they're thinking about what to say with the king of swords or maybe they're re being really honest with themselves about something maybe they're being honest with themselves about how they feel and i say they because this is the current energies for you in love so your energies are here as well as the other person you're dealing with so take it as it resonates tell me more about the hermit tell me more about the hermit Wow, the King of Pentacles shows up too. And the Hangman. Okay, so I feel like this is a situation where someone is thinking with their head or with their heart and kind of there's a conflict there. I really feel like whoever this is, they're on their own trying to see how they can approach a situation. Um, maybe their heart is telling them to do one thing, but their head, their logical side is telling them to do another. Maybe they want to jump right in with both feet because their emotions are very strong. But at the same time, they want to be like this King of Pentacles. Take it slow. Take your time. Be reasonable. I feel like someone's fighting themselves a little bit here. Can I get some more insight into why this is happening with the Hermit? Spirit, tell me more about what's going on here with the Hermit. There's the Seven of Pentacles again. Yeah, I feel like someone's wondering about the future, about all of the hard work they would put into something, the time they would put into something, would that pay off? Five of Pentacles. Someone's worried about things not working out. That's really why this is happening here. There's the Hermit again. Someone's worried that they'll be abandoned, left behind, mistreated. Maybe, Taurus, you've had bad relationships in the past. Or maybe this particular person that you have a history with, if, the, if this is someone you have a history with, maybe the last time you were together, it wasn't great. You're trying to decide here, I feel, if all of this is worth it. If this, is this too good to be true? The fact that this is a new beginning in love. Tell me about the fool. Why is the fool here? Wow, the tower. Okay, wow, the tower with the fool. Well, right away, I think of a tower that happens in order to open a door. Or there's something very sudden, unexpected about this new beginning. Tell me about the fool. Why is the fool here, spirit? Wow, the emperor, Aries energy. And the six of swords. Wow, okay. Bottom of the deck is the Hermit. So again, I don't know if this is someone that's thinking about a past tower and moving past that tower into a new cycle. Six of Swords, the Fool. Taking charge of the situation. Or if this new beginning requires a sudden departure or a sudden move um, of some sort. I think that's why someone's thinking so hard about what to do or, or so hard about the future because this tower I feel is bringing something down or uh, it, it's very unexpected. So someone has to think quickly. What do I do? Tell me more about the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Wow, the Chariot. Okay, someone's definitely leaving cancer energy and then there's the magician there's a purpose to this departure someone's leaving something behind in order to manifest 
this new beginning. I feel like that's why also someone's worried because they're giving something and hoping for something in return, but they're not sure. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. This could be something, you know, this could be interpreted in so many ways, Taurus, but for example, maybe you met someone recently, you started dating, it's been a couple of months, and out of the blue, this person asks you to move in, or let's move somewhere, or let's travel somewhere, or let's make this official. Or this could be that Taurus, you've left a situation in the past. Maybe a, a tower happened where you were in the past and that tower, without you realizing it, opened a new cycle for you where now you're meeting someone new. I mean, there's so many ways to interpret this, but you're still worried about the future because of the previous tower. Tell me about the seven of pentacles. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Oh, yes. Look at this. Another card about a departure. Eight of Cups with the Ten of Wands. So whoever is doing this, to have, you know, walking away, um, dealing with a problem, there's a Five of Wands. It could even be your person because they have a Ten of Swords and the Seven of Wands. You know, flip this as, uh, as it resonates. You know, it could be them that's leaving a situation or having a tower. But whoever's walking away, um, they're wondering if this is going to be worth it, if this is the right thing to do. What does the future look like for me now that I'm doing this? Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. King of Cups. We have King and Queen on the board here. Um, I feel like someone's listening to their heart about this. I think this is an emotional decision, this departure. It might not make the most logical sense, but someone's going to follow their heart. So let's look down here at your energies for each other. Well, let me grab a animal spirit for both of you. Spirit, tell me about the energies between Taurus and this other person. What do we need to know about their energies? Tell me about Taurus. And Taurus, I have you on the left here and your person on the right, but feel free to flip it if it resonates more for you. Tell me about the energy that Taurus is bringing to this connection. The gazelle. Okay, yeah, you are um, a bit anxious about something, a bit wary, extra careful. Tell me about the person that Taurus is, has, or will be dealing with. Okay, camel survivor energy resourceful energy this is someone that's trying to um keep it together basically survive stay alive you know interesting so i feel like there's a bit of a distrust here on your side when it comes to this person but i don't know why can I get some insight into this person that Taurus is, has, or will be dealing with? Tell me about this person's... Okay, that was quick. I have a choice to make. I would take it all back if I could. So this person has a choice to make. Let's see what the heck that's all about when I clarify here for you guys. Let's start with you, though. Page of Wands, Temperance. So the Page of Wands tells me there's some sort of initiative here that you're willing to take. You're willing to take a little bit of a risk. You're willing to, you know, this interests you. But Temperance is telling me again, it's it's that head and heart situation. You know, and you cannot, for some reason, Taurus, you cannot be impulsive about this. You're being careful, patient, moderated. Tell me about the Page of Wands and Temperance. Tell me about the Page of Wands and Temperance. Okay, so we have the Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Page of Wands and Temperance. The Eight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. You see the potential, but again, you're not sure. You're, there's a fear here with the Eight of Swords about this whole new beginning. Taurus, there's so many ways to interpret this, and I know I've already said that like five times, but it's true. Um, this reading will resonate for different Tauruses. 
Um, I feel like some of you, this is someone completely new coming into your life and you're not sure if you're ready to give your heart away again. Um, maybe you're scared of the emotions you're feeling. Maybe you're scared of taking this step to having a new, a new beginning in love, a new connection. Others of you, I feel like this is someone you have a history with in some capacity. Um, and you're scared to go back to that person or to continue with that person. There's some, there's a worry here. And in the midst of all that, there's this idea of a tower, a departure, you know, because there's a mix here of your energies. I feel like your person, you, there's a, you're mixed in there. Some of you Tauruses are the one leaving. Some of you, this is the person you're dealing with is the one leaving. Some of you Tauruses, the tower is for you. And for others of you, the tower is for them. Do you know what I mean? There's no way to really break apart the energy that much. But let's see what we get when we clarify their energies here. They have a ten of swords. So I'm more inclined to believe they're the ones that are walking away from something or having a difficulty. Can I get some insight into this ten of swords, seven of wands? Why is the ten of swords and the seven of wands here? Justice, Libra energy, okay. Why is the Ten of Swords here with the Seven of Wands? The Lovers, wow, Gemini energy. Why is the Ten of Swords here with the uh, Seven of Wands? Some of you are dealing with a person who's divorced or walked away from a, per a commitment or ended a commitment. Five of Swords, and maybe it didn't end well. Others of you, this person's resolving a conflict on their own or wanting to resolve a conflict with you. And for them to resolve a conflict with you, it would mean that you would have to forgive them and then, you know, choose to move forward with them. I feel like this person, they're trying to, to fix whatever is the issue for them here. Temperance is here. Justice is here. So I think of someone that's trying to overcome a problem, resolve a problem, come to a solution. So when, but this is their energies when it comes to you. So I feel like this person is trying to fix something that relates to you. I don't know if this person is like, if this is someone completely new to you, Taurus, maybe they're just trying to get around this issue of you having um, baggage from your past or uh, difficulties trusting because of your past, or if you have some sort of conflict because of your past that is brought to this connection. Or if this person has this conflict on their own, maybe they've separated from someone or ended a relationship with someone and now that they're coming to you, this needs to be resolved because they can't drag you into it. You know, again, there's a lot of ways to interpret this from what I see here. Let's get a hidden truth oracle for them. Can I get um, a little bit more insight into this person? that Taurus is, has, or will be dealing with. What do we need to know about this particular person's spirit? What do we need to know about this particular person that Taurus is, has, or will be dealing with? I regret lying to you. Okay, so this person, that's why they would take something back. So again, I don't know if you already worked with this person. This could have been someone, this could have been a little lie, a big lie. There's regrets here tied to something that they said or didn't say. This could be a lie through omission. You know, maybe they didn't tell you something important. But, you know, I, I, I just don't get from here that this is someone that you've had a really long history with right off, you know, right off the bat. So I think that's the problem. This person deceived you in some way, whether it was a small deception or a large deception. Um, and I think it it ruined or broke the trust you had with them. So now that it's time to make a decision about them or this connection, you're having doubts about the future. You're having doubts about if this is the right thing to do. So let's see, where is all of this headed in the near future? Ten of Wands, Four of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Well, the Three of Pentacles tells me that someone's willing to work together, work within a group. But the Four of Cups, Ten of Wands, the Four of Cups is someone that's not interested, closed off, 
not open to an opportunity. And the Ten of Wands is someone that's burdened. That's this Ten of Wands here. So that's interesting. Ten of Wands. Tell me about this Ten of Wands. What's this Ten of Wands about? The Knight of Cups. So I feel like someone needs to express their feelings here. Maybe feelings they've held back. Maybe an apology for all of the baggage, all of the difficulties that have happened or that have been brought to this connection. Tell me about the Four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? Queen of Swords. Yeah, I feel like someone's going to be communicating with you, Taurus. But maybe you're not open to, the, to, to what they're saying. Or you're not interested in what might be said here. Or there might be some sort of rejection or fear of rejection. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Tell me about the Three of Pentacles. Judgment. I feel like someone wants a second chance here or wants to work on things together. There's the Empress at the bottom of the deck. I feel like someone wants to fix the problem, but they would need your support to do that or your cooperation to have this work. Um, I feel like they're going to apologize to you here with the Knight of Cups or at least just say something very honest, very, um, they'll, they'll be very vulnerable. They're going to express their love, this person, and hope that that's enough. Hmm. I'm going to extend this one because I feel like I, I, I don't have all of the story, um, I want to look at your person's intentions. What are their real intentions towards you? Because I feel like you're having difficulty trusting them. And it's probably because you don't know what exactly they want. Or it's probably because you don't know if what they're telling you now is also a lie. So I'm going to look at their intentions towards you. And then I'm going to break down all of these energies here and the potential outcome. This Knight of Cups and this Queen of Swords and this Judgment. Because I feel like this is their next actions towards you. This is what's coming towards you, Taurus, in the near future. So I kind of want to get a little bit more insight about whatever this future outcome looks like in regards to this connection. Because maybe that will help you decide, you know. Um, and then we'll see what else comes up that I want to clarify further as well. Um, I, I also want to tap a little bit more into their energy. So maybe I'll pick a couple Oracle cards for their situation. This, whatever this Ten of Swords, Seven of Wands is, get a little more insight there. So the extended will be linked in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, Taurus. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.